hey yo what's up guys what's going on today we are going to have another exercise and um, if you haven't mastered this exercise please um, try to understand what's going on here and if you don't understand leave the comment below and I'm gonna do another exercise exercise number two we give it exercise number two And on this exercise, I was just thinking maybe we should write a program. I remember when I was studying uh, Java programming, uh, I remember my teacher gave me a task to do. It was I should write a program that can add some of the some of the digit in in a number such as ten, for example let's put a small number like three so you have to uh, to add one plus two plus three then you get um, six so you write a program that uh, sum up the digit then it give you the answer so it's pretty hard if you have to think let's say 100 if you want to do it manually it's really really it's a little bit difficult because you have to start with 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way uh, all the way till 100 and then you get the answer so it's gonna take you a lot of time and most of you guys I know you may use calculator to get this answer but it's an exercise whereby we can write a program that can do this job for us so I'm going to show you how to do this and if today I was asked to do this uh, maybe I'll use a function because it's pretty easy to use a function to do this so I'm going to write first of all I need to write the main function the main function the more you write the more you remember this all this but if you are new to Java programming then you don't have to understand this by heart because as you are learning you understand what all this means but in a nutshell means the public it's public it's a modifier so it can be accessed anywhere static it's also it's a function that can be called at anywhere within this class so we have st static and instance so this is static means the keyword static means you can access it at anywhere let's say if you have you have a variable and they are private um, you can call them uh, uh, private and they can be st static so they you are able to access them from anywhere and this is void is not is not gonna return anything and this is the name of the method so and here you have an array and this is just the name of this array so the more you type the more you understand it's really pretty hard to understand everything once but the more you practice the more you get the whole concept so now uh, I need to be able I need to be able to receive um, a number or digit from the keyboard so what I'm going to use here or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a scanner and the scanner is an object so scanner it's an object and it comes from Java util a package so we give the name of the scanner input most of the time we give scanner the name of scanner input and create an object object so scanner And here you pass system dot in and here you can if you're using Eclipse it's just control shift or then you get the the you get this uh, package on your import so I have it here 
so the next thing we need we need them um, to ask let's say if you want to ask a user enter the number then you do system dot out dot print line then a string enter in a number please the number please so this is going to be shown on the screen when you run the program then it'll be like ask the user to enter the number and now we are going to use the this object here input input dot uh, we can either you can give it the uh, we can give it the variable let's say if you want we can just say int because the number then maybe let's say value or oh, in a number you go to input then we use the object to call the next int because we are expecting to receive the int value so if you're gonna expect to get the double or long or whichever uh, data type you like then you have to change this one to uh, to reflect whatever you like I mean what is your interest so and now uh, I need to write a function I need to write a function here so this is a method so you cannot write a method within another method for example this is the main method so if you want to write another method then you have to go outside of this method and you type the method let's say and this because you want this method to be accessed from anywhere so this method we need to declare it as a public static let's say and whatever that type we want to return let's say is int and then you give the name of the method for our purpose we want to uh, to uh, to add up the digit. For example, if you type ten, then we add the whole digit from zero to ten. So I'm gonna say some digit. So this digits. So this is how our method our method is going to return. It's going to return. Let's say the numbers we would like. This time I can use long and n. So I want this method to return. Uh, this uh, I mean I'm passing the uh, parameter on this method. It's going to return int, but I'm passing the long digit here. So, uh, but b before before I can do anything, I need to uh, we need to think all the time. You have to think when you are doing this kind of programming. So uh, I I want to save this number the number to the this number that we are receiving to this method I just want to rest to store it on the temporary variable so I can just create the int temporary that's a variable simple variable you can just type wherever you like and uh, and uh, because now because I'm receiving a long here uh, I'm trying to make it a little bit more exciting or more <laughs> uh, a little bit more hard for you so that you use your brain to think so because you're you're receiving a long here and here the method is going to return int so you need to convert this number whenever this method receives this long here we need to convert this long to int so how do we do that we uh, we have to use this type casting which is you have to type int and then you type the let's say if I can use I can use maybe also uh, static static uh, object or method. Let's say math uh, dot abs. This is a method that is going to return return absolute absolute number. So we do this and then we pass the uh, we pass this end here. see pass this variable here and then uh, at this moment we know sum 
let's declare a variable called sum here and assign it to zero see because it's going to complain if you don't assign it to a you don't give this value it will complain so that's why I assign it to zero so in here I want to loop through all the numbers you the user is going to type so if you type two I want to, to loop through one two if you enter 10 I want to loop from 1 to 10 you see so uh, let's create a loop here so you're gonna create a for loop and this for loop and for loop normally you can just because it's a uh, for loop takes three things so a for loop it just accepted to type same column in the for loop as long as it's three things so and here I'm going to say ten temp and I'll say if it's not equal to not equal to zero and also temp uh, temp uh, divide by I'll divide equal to to ten. So what does it mean? It means if you are gonna deal with the number from one to ten, then we need to strip every number. Every number, for example, if you want to strip one, so if you do this mathematics here, the temp, this temp number, this is the number that we we're gonna add here. This function or this method is going to receive, and we have uh, typecast this number. Here it's long and we convert it to int here. So right now this is the number here we received it here, and now we are saying that uh, this number, uh, if you divide by ten, the number you're receiving here. If you divide by ten, the answer, the the answer is what is the value of this temp. So we get that one, one one by one. So. Uh, if it was like 100 from 1 to 100 then we can also change this to 100 I hope it's clear so because we are dealing with number from 1 to 10 then that's why we are using 10 okay and now uh, we need to find the the remainder the remainder and here actually yeah we don't need some column here so it's just that is complaining but uh, here I think I forgot to put this because I say if it's not equal to zero so it should be an equal sign here and then uh, we need to check the, the the reminder of this number whenever we divide this number with this 10 then what's the reminder so we, I'm going to say that int reminder is equal to tp we use this sign to get the reminder of the number so if we divide this to 10 whatever is main is that's the number we want so it's gonna be a remainder okay and then here we use this sum sum then we add that number to sum the remainder you see it should be small letter you see and now after that because you can see here we have this an error it's saying missing return so we have to, to return return the sum see and now we need to be able to print this to print this the result here and uh, uh, I can just print it here on the main method because this when you are running this program this is what what is going to be executed so this method is going to execute this uh, execute whatever we like from here so I'm going to say and here I'm going to use again a bit complex where if you have never programmed if you are you you are you 
doing basic programming then this might be a little bit new to you but you just, this is how you have to learn how to program in a hard way and then I want to uh, to print to use a, a stream builder object which is going to, we're going to pass here uh, stream builder and uh, normally a string builder takes first have to be a string so we can say the sum of the sum of digit uh, digit for that from here new this should have we can put this this one goes with another one here sorry I just messed up and then we append this is how you append a value so use append the number this this number here this is what we want uh, the the sum of the digit 4 this number that users typed in then we are going to put this variable here number then then you say is then you have to append again append uh, and if you want to append now the answer of that then we we, we say we call the, the that method which is sum digit and then on sum digit then we pass the we pass the number that the user typed in then at the end of the day you have to change everything to string so use to string so this is, is perfect fine you can use this or you can use um, the simple one which is commonly used is a string dot out dot print line print line and then you pass here a string then you say that this sum of digits for then you concatenate by plus sign for number then another plus sign then you pass is then plus sign uh, then you pass the method which is some digit long then you pass the number at the end of then if you save and run this program it will ask 